Hmm, I think our brand new little blackberries we could probably tuck right over here next to all the purple things. We'll need to keep the golden seal and the mice because we probably want to use them. Maybe we should keep some of these blackberries to sell over at Ember's shop as well. Hmm, so many choices and so many little piles of treasure. Hello everyone and welcome back to Cat Tales. And we are currently in our young cat Mossy's den. And I have to say I'm really proud. Look at all of the things we've collected. Mossy has definitely been developing some fantastic new skills and she has definitely been working hard to establish herself for life here in the wild, being part of the forest cat colony. And we managed to find a whole bunch of new treasures last time including dragonflies, fish, and blackberries, which are quite exciting. We almost drowned trying to chase down the fish, though, so I feel like we're, we're going to go ahead and eat this fish just to get rid of the evidence of it. And I guess we need to go ahead and use some of the golden seal, too. I should probably start saving the golden seal so we could use it inside of the mines when we begin digging for gemstones. But that's going to have to wait for now because Mossy has been working very, very hard, and uh, we've been partnering up with scout so that we can learn some new sneaking skills and those sneaking skills are finally starting to pay off for us because we have gained enough experience to gain the diplomacy skill dun 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 which we're gonna call is our spying skill this will allow us to gain a lot of power for our colony in different contested regions like I mentioned before normally I would ignore that kind of like battle politic element to most games but in cat Tales, if we ignore that, it means that enemy cats can invade our territory and that's very dangerous for us. That means when we happen to stumble into our territory, we can get attacked and possibly killed and I don't want that to happen to poor little Mossy. So gaining the diplomacy skill, we're going to say is her spying skill and it will allow her to go into an area and spy so that that way we could gain a lot of power for our colony there without having to lift a paw and possibly put our lives at risk battling aggressively for that zone or running out of lavender which is one of the different plants that you can use to gain some control of your territory zone it puts your scent in really strongly i'm still not sure all of the other ways currently in this alpha version keep in mind this is early alpha not even beta definitely not final release of the game but i'm not sure of all of the different ways in the alpha you can gain can like control of your territory but i think that the diplomacy skill and the lavender and the fighting are already great elements to do it but we've been working with scout to try to learn uh, all of our sneaking skills so I want to go and give Scout a mouse as a present and I know the mayor really loves mice too so let's give the mayor a mouse really quickly and then I want to see how much our new treasure our little blackberries they're delicious and edible apparently but I want to see how much they sell for at Ember's place and then later we're gonna get that diplomacy skill after we say good morning to Scout and let's go and try to take over like this forest east zone and see how strong that skill can be that'd be really cool all right mayor Greetings. Stay sharp out there and don't wander too far from the borders. Do you travel a lot? If so, you've surely seen the rumbling stones to the south. They were laid by the humans before our kindred came to this forest. Hmm, the mayor is a really good fount of knowledge. I really like learning all of the different uh, like histories and backgrounds of the colonies, which is important for a spy. So let's go ahead and give the mayor our gift to him. How did you- Oh, look, I think we're finally gaining some friendship hearts with, or stars with him. How did you know that I love these? Thank you so much. This is a great gift, Mossy, and I truly appreciate it. Yay! All right, so that worked out well. There goes a dragonfly that I might try to catch to sell to Ember, and let's come talk to Ember. Good morning, Ember. Sorry I don't have time to talk. I'm just here to be able to see what the blackberries will sell for. For two? Eh. That's okay. I'll go ahead and sell them for two. Might as well. All right. And then I have a little bit of food with a dove that we're carting around. And let's go find Scout so that I can say good morning to him. There's a dragonfly. Normally, I would try to catch it. There he is. But, um, hello, Scout. Oh, doing our morning sneaking skill, I see. Huh? Do you need something? You look like you're pretty busy today. I'll try not to take up much of your time. Take care out there. Oh, Scout, no, it's okay. You can take up more of my time. Mossy totally wants you to take up more of her time. Here you go, Harvest Mouse. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh! What's this? This little thing above his head. Does that mean we gained like a little friendship point with him? Oh, wow. I've always loved these. Thanks a billion, Mossy. Dang it. 
All right, now he's still super busy. All right, we'll leave him alone. We'll have to just keep bringing him mice for now. Uh, but we do need to start exploring because it is the first day of autumn. However, before we go exploring, because now that we've learned a spying skill, we need to come into this den, Mossy's den. And I, you, I think you have to be inside of your den to set the active skills. And we're gonna unlock diplomacy. Yes, unlock it, there we go, yes! All right, let's equip it. Now we have our second active skill, Diplomacy. And that will hopefully give us a lot of power when it comes to our ability to just take over the different zones. And I also, if we have enough room, want to improve our forging skill so that we can get a little bit more of a boost from the plants that we gather. That's important, even though everybody is probably like, Siri and your plants, you're so obsessed. But that's important so that we can use better plants for healing better and we can use the plants for being able to use stuff like lavender to be able to take over or like put our scent out and take over a zone better and also for being more invigorated or whatever else the different foods and herbs may help us do used to find herbs flowers and berries in the wilderness determines the effectiveness of plants when used to heal and invigorate at a higher level a cat will be able to spot growing things effortlessly Dun, dun, dun. I will happily upgrade that and now we are out of experience, but that's okay So let's go ahead and wander around on our first day of autumn here I want to be able to go and I want to oh, what's that? Oh, it's just a little leaf got so excited but I want to be able to go and explore and see what's happening in the mines soon too. But it's not a rainy day and I think Mossy has a lot that she really needs to be doing when it comes to hunting. Ah, dang it. When it comes to hunting and when it comes to exploring and investigating how the forest may have changed now that it is autumn. And we've never been over to some parts of the forest over here before. I mean, look at this. This is the Woodlands Corner and I don't think we've ever properly been like up here. I wonder if there's a bridge to get over these spots or if this is all just contested. So we're gonna head up to Forest East in a second and try out our brand new skill and see how it works. <gasps> Ooh, bunny! No, I really wanna eat you! Come back! Ah, I got away! Oh, I shouldn't have used my my beautiful speed boost just then, but I really wanted to eat that bunny. They're just, they've got so much food in them. All right, let's see, nice little spot. It'd be cool if we could jump up on this and just kind of like stand up there because it looks like a good spot for a meeting of some kind. Let's see, rushing rocks down here. Okay, okay. Good to learn the layout of the land and how things may or may not have changed. Let's see. Ah, oh, bunny. All right, can I get him? Ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> he spotted me just before I was gonna jump for it. Okay, so here we are, we're at Forest East. And there's no other cats here just yet, thank goodness. There's some blackberries we can gather though. And can I, yep, got the little dragonfly. But because this is such a heavily contested area, there's probably a really high chance of the other colonies showing up if uh, we stay here too long. So it's kind of like a catch to see if it's worth the hunt to you or not. Hey, come back here, dragonfly. So dragonflies are the unique, or that's a damselfly, the unique insects that change every season. Oh, can I get this bunny? Please tell me I can get this bunny. I really want to get this bunny. Get the bunny. He changed directions. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on, get him. We were so close. We were right on top of him. Uh, but he slipped out from under our paws. That's okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and eat the dove so that I don't starve ourselves while we're here. And let's look at the number. So Mountain mountain Colony controls this 4%, Mystic 68%. Let's see what happens when we use our diplomacy skill. Whoa! Holy moly days! All right, Mountain Colony controls this not at all. And now we're up to 54%. So what happens if we add in a little bit of lavender on top of that to put our scent down really strongly? Look at that! We went from such a low percentage to 66% control of this area. That is so cool! Oh, I wish I could gather up more lavender. But again, we're gonna say that that was Mossy's spying skills and not like actual diplomacy because I don't know if she'd be very good at that. Oh my gosh, tell me I can gather up these mushrooms. I beg of thee. I beg you. Please. I want to gather these mushrooms. They're so cool. I want to put them inside of my... I really want to put them inside of my beautiful, beautiful den. Oh my gosh, I love them. Oh, here's a whole bunch of blackberries. All right, well, at the very least, we can start selling these blackberries. Also, did you guys just see that? The experience kind of, like, stacked. So I wonder if you can do, like, experience combos? 
Huh, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Dang it, and I think it's time when she has the opportunity. Look at these trees. I love how each area is super unique and they're not just like repeats of each other. Each area has its own special quirks and its own special little, little uh, like decorative pieces to make it unique. All right, wait for it. Yes, ah, oh, that dove totally didn't know it was coming for it. So that it feels like you're really exploring a unique map spot everywhere you go versus just like walking through the same sort of terrain again and again. All right, and here's the forest outskirts. This is where a mountain starts controlling some of the area, the mountain colony. And it looks like learning a little bit of swimming skills so we don't almost, almost drowned like we did last time. Uh, is probably important if we want to start controlling some of the zones where the mountain colony is. Oh, here's a whole bunch of Valeria. Nice. All right. We're, we're really uh, gathering up quite a bit of experience just foraging. I should have gone to the north instead of down where all the fish are and the beach, which makes sense. Not as many plants tend to grow in a beach as you would expect would grow in a thick forest. Let's see. Anything else to find along here? Oh, this is going to be the spot where we've got... Oh, there's a fish! I want to get the fish! I really want to get the fish! Okay, can I get the fish? Oh, dang it, he saw me! Alright, couldn't get that fish. However, this is one of my favorite spots because if you time it on the right side, you can actually... Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh, he's wearing like a whole... Okay, I want this. I'm gonna be sassy and steal a squirrel and then run away from Greeny. It looked like he was wearing a sweater, but he's just really cool in blue. All right, not gonna get me, Greeny. Woo, he's a good swimmer. Noted. Mountain Colony, good swimmers. <laughs> All right, well, we got away from him, but that's so fun. I love that we have the diplomacy, aka spying skill now, and that we can use it. There's a bunny. <sighs> but I think it's time to face the facts and the reality that Mossy needs to be a better hunter and possibly a slightly a better swimmer if we're going to get her safely through the forest and safely exploring the area around her home and gathering up all of our little treasures. But, oh, there's some more golden seal. Oh, there's a whole bunch of golden seal over here, nice. So I think what we'll probably do is we will gather up a bunch of golden seal and we'll gather up a bunch of food and then we will work with Mossy up in the mines soon because I'm super curious about the mines. We have a whole bunch of berries. Can we eat the berries? Whoa! Okay, those berries actually fill us up quite a bit and the Valerian invigorates cats. So what does that mean? That gives us a little bit of a speed boost, which I don't know if we would need inside of the mine. So I'll leave behind my Valerian. But I think we have the right kind of stuff to be able to heal up and to wiggle into the mines. Because that's what I want to work on next. But can we can we upgrade her hunting skill? <laughs> I feel like I'm neglecting poor Mossy's hunting skill quite a bit. So close. So close. All right. We'll get there. I'm sure she'll finally, finally, finally be able to tackle some of those birds if we work on her hunting skill. All right. We can put down our little valerian. And we do have a bunny. And we do have one of the blackberries. I'm not so concerned about our muse just yet. Even though it would be really, really fun to be able to collect up. Uh, I don't really want these damselflies actually we'll probably sell those in the morning and i'll leave behind the valerian in our little our little garden that we're, we've started to kind of build inside of our den do you guys would you guys keep your den a little bit more organized i feel like it's more organized than i normally have these things but let's see i do want to get no mossy don't sleep i do want to get a little bit of a garden going no i used it I used it instead of held it. Oh dear. All right. Well, we'll tidy up our den and we will gather up some resources and possibly go mining next time, you guys. I think that would be really fun. And we might explore a little bit further because I'm curious about the sacred temple area, especially because it says like custom. So I think this is where you could have like your custom cat colony and then possibly take over all of the other cats territories. So, hmm, we'll wiggle our way up. Oh, and it looks like we might have to battle to be able to get all the way there unless maybe if we go too far, we might have to battle over at this lake. Uh, but we'll keep wiggling our way up because there's a graveyard? What? And shady corners? Okay, there's a whole canyon to explore. So I think Mossy needs to explore the canyon and work on building up a little bit more of her hunting skill. And then in the future, summon allies and let's see... 
I think summon allies and the study prey or the return home may be super useful active skills for her to learn. But we'll just have to see where her story takes her. And we'll just have to see how many mice it's going to take before Scout begins to get the idea that maybe, just maybe, we kind of like him. But all right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.